I was a huge fan as a kid of the original film. I've got How so old are you? I'm 27. You're 27. See, yeah. I'm 35. So mm. I like I'm closer to the 1977 yeah. version. That's impressive. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's one of those. It's just a timeless tale. So I think so obviously. I mean, even now it could be watched. But now the people, kids don't need to watch it. They've got this one. Um, but I just what, what was <laughs> what was your kind of relationship with with the original? Was, was were you a kind of big fan growing up? Yeah. Yeah. I um I loved the 1977 version. Um, my uh, I asked my dad um, actually at the premiere yesterday. I was like, Dad, how many times did I watch Pete's Dragon? And he was like, Oh, a thousand, <laughs> or at least a hundred. And um, and that's probably not an exaggeration. I, I just I thought about what it is like. I mean, there are a lot of amazing things about that film, and of course the music and and all of that. But I think the thing that got me hooked on Pete's Dragon was that it was one of the first times as a young person that I saw a live action film with an animated character. And I just other than like the penguins in Mary Poppins, like I'd never seen that before. And um, and so it made me feel like, well, that's a real boy, so that's a real dragon. Like I, I I didn't make that leap, and you know, and I feel I feel similarly about this film. It's such a grounded world, and it's such a realistic dragon. It's just, you know, my kids are going crazy excited mm -hmm. over it. You know, because I mean, when you're a kid, when you have a very special relationship with with cinema in a sense that, like you said, you would watch a movie so many times every day when you get home. Yeah. Is it, it must be quite nice knowing you're now a part of a movie. You're sort of in a movie now that will be a part of sort of children's experiences in the same way that we're part of ours, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's um, that is hugely meaningful. Um, and I actually, what I can say is that my, do you know who Josh Gad is? Yes. Okay, so Josh Gad is my husband's best friend since kindergarten. He's the godfather of my kids, we're the godparents of his kids. Like, it, we're like best, we're family. And when Josh did Frozen, it was just, it was like my, my kids went crazy because they're like, Olaf, Olaf <laughs> is Uncle Josh. Yeah. And, um, and just seeing the way that, that you know, just kind of it, the way that, that he's reconnected with his own childhood in being in a Disney film and, and, the, and what it's meant to his kids. I just, like at that point, I was like, I really want to be in a Disney film. I really want to be in a Disney movie. And so this, you know, coming along and, and getting this opportunity is incredibly meaningful to me. And, and though the film obviously is, is completely kind of um, surreal in many, well, I, I think it is anyway, there's not too many dragons around. Um, I mean, it, it's steeped, in, the realism that derives from it is, is based on, on our own relationships with animals and our own yes. relationship with pets. Very I was wondering if, so. you've, uh, if that's something that resonates with you, have you always grown up with kind of animals and pets? Yes, I grew up on a farm, actually. My parents had a farm. It was like a, it was more like a petting zoo than a farm. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I definitely, seeing Elliot, it's like you, you can't help but project the strongest relationships that you've had with animals, you know, in the past. And... Um, I mean, it, it like kills me watching him because I think of my my I my first dog that was like my whole life it was a golden retriever named Littlefoot after Land Before Time, and I I mean Littlefoot was like my life. She was my best friend, and then now I have a dog who's also a golden retriever named Story, and actually after Never Ending Story, which looks quite a bit like Balcor, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, and it just yeah it, it's. It's, it's just you instantly care about Elliot because you think of the the purity and the innocence and the depth of relationships that that you know you've had with your own animals. I like the name Elliot for a dragon as well. I'm a big fan of calling animals really human names. Like yeah. I had a cat called Trevor, and I like doing that with animals. I yes, think it's quite funny. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Story is. Um, um, not a common no. <laughs> name. Littlefoot is uh, definitely not, um, and my cat is Zizi. Yeah. Well, um, I had a dog named Charlie. That's good. That's good. And a dog named Dizzy Lizzie, and a dog named Captain Elwood. So yeah, that was my only normal name. <laughs> and um, of course, um, Jurassic World sequel is, is coming up as yes, well. I was just yes, wondering. Yes. I mean, you must be so excited to get started on that. And what can we kind of expect from that film, so narratively speaking, if you can say anything like that? Well, I, I, what I would say is that we're going to do Jurassic World next year, um, but if you want your friendly, cute, cuddly dragon fix, you're going to need to get it from Pete's yeah. Dragon. <laughs> because dinosaurs are terrifying. Um, and we're just, you know, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's, very, it's all very confusing because I went straight from shooting Jurassic World and then into Pete's Dragon. There was just like a couple months in between. 
And then a couple weeks after Pete's Dragon was over, I went into Jurassic World Press. And and now it's, you know, and now I'm doing this. And so I kept getting dragon and dinosaur mixed up all the time, <laughs> all constantly. So Must be stranger sitting here talking to a human being. Yes, you know? yes, exactly. <laughs> well, I would just be like, Where's the um, where's the dan? I mean the um, the dragon. Like I just and then when I was doing press for Jurassic, I'd be like, it was just so amazing. Like the CGI dragon, and they're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. So, yeah, reptiles. I'll just call them reptiles. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's thank much appreciated. you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.